Please look at the, the list of Canadian foods on Taste Atlas. Taste Atlas Canadian foods. 100 most popular Canadian foods. Okay. 100. Oofs on jelly. Nope. Absolutely not. Never heard of it in my life. 99. Le Cendrillon. A French uh, cheese made from ghost... Okay, you know what? I'm going... I'm skipping to... Uh, like number t number one. Hodgepodge. Cretans. Spartan apples, white sturgeon caviar. What the hell are you talking about? Fifty pea meal bacon sandwich. Okay, legitimate. That's a that's an Ontario classic from the St. Lawrence Market. Forty nine pizza getty. Pizza getty. I wish that I was not about to illuminate for Americans that part of Quebec cuisine is just having a cheese pizza and then pouring uh, spaghetti into the middle of it. Pretty disgusting. Saskatoon berry pie. Never had it, but fair enough. Gooey duck. Sorry, no. BC roll. Okay. I mean, I got to hand them some, some props for this. We do be eating BC rolls in BC. Oftentimes made with, with salmon skin, which sounds maybe a little weird, but I'm promising you is delicious. Montreal style bagel in 45th. That should be like in sixth place. Poutine gravy. Honey dill. I've never heard of these in my life. Turducken. Is that, I didn't even know turducken was Canadian. I'm not sure that it is. Okay. Four piece, no backspin. Three point nine piece, even better. Should have backspin, but we're on a hill. We're on a hill. Ooh, still should have backspin, but look at that. I'm done. My guy. Dude, it's like, got, it's, it's, it's like I'm putting on top of a like cystic pimple or something right now. This shit's got irregular edges. I clipped through the grass. <clears throat> washed, washed. He's actually washed. <laughs> Turducken. Pudding Chômeur. No, no well, I'm just going to tell you I've never heard of it. I'm not from Quebec. Piacere. Never heard of this cheese. Yukon Gold Potatoes. Makes sense that they're Canadian. I do love a good Yukon Gold, for the record. That's a, that's a great potato. Pâté Chinois. Not familiar. Beaver Tails. Hey, that's real. Beaver Tail is essentially like a funnel cake. Delicious. A Caesar. Absolutely emblematic of Canadian cuisine. Salmon Pie. Nope. Maple butter, sure. Pizza cake, never heard of it in my life. The infamous pizza cake came to life in April 2014 when Canadian-based chain Boston Pizza started a campaign called Pizza Game Changers, where the public was called in to vote on the next big thing when it comes to pizza-related products. That is wrong. That is, it is not that infamous. But right below that, pea meal bacon. Pea meal bacon is a Canadian classic as far as I'm concerned. I love pea meal bacon. It's what Canadian bacon wishes it were. Below that was tortier. I mean, we're getting into some foods with like some slight legitimacy. Matrimonial cake, never heard of it. Yo, dude, there's all these things I, I'm looking at that I never really realized were Canadian, but it makes perfect sense. For example... I never thought about Montreal steak seasoning being Canadian, but obviously it's named after Montreal, unlike Boston Pizza, which is named after Vernon, British Columbia for some reason. That's it. This tears it. You guys are in trouble now. I'm taking the kid gloves off. Oh my god. It was such a great shot until then.
You gotta admit, that was closer than you thought it would be. He's washed? I'm not washed. Watch this. Wash this. In. Oh, really? What, did we hit a patch of choppy air? Honey garlic sauce. That's Canadian? Canadian whiskey. Okay, fair. 20th, sushi pizza. This is the most, ins this list is like half written by someone who lives here and half written by someone who looked at the menu at Cactus Club once. They, have I seen sushi pizza on a menu in Vancouver before? Yes. Would I, have I ever seen anybody eat it or be like, oh, this sushi pizza is delicious? No, never in my entire life. It's not the 20th most popular food in Canada. Pemmican? Sure, okay, I'll allow it. Nanaimo bars, I'll allow it. Salmon, I'll allow it. Ginger beef. Sugar pie, these are all fair. Timbits, we're almost in the top 10. The B-52, a layered cocktail invented in Banff in Canada in 1977, allegedly named after the long-range bomber used by Americans during the Vietnam War. I would say that it's definitely named after the long-range bomber used by the Americans during the Vietnam War because it's called the B-52. What, you were just having a couple of darts at bingo night and it came to you in a dream? I've never heard of a B-52 in my life. For it to be the number 11... Most popular food in Canada seems crazy to me. But then again, I've never been to Banff. Okay, honestly, 10 to 1. Here we go. Number 10, garlic fingers. I didn't know this was a Canadian thing. This is like when you order pizza and you're like, mm, I don't know if I could use something other than pizza. What about a pizza that instead of tomato sauce just has garlic sauce and instead of being cut into triangles, it's cut into rectangles. They are delicious though. I'm not going to knock a, a garlic finger. Number 9, butter tarts. Completely fair. Completely fair. Number eight, Montreal smoked meat. Can't argue there. Number seven, smoked salmon. I agree. Number six, craft dinner. Number five, uramaki, also known as the California roll. No, don't, don't, why are you flexing? Nobody calls it uramaki. It, in Canada, in North America, it's a California roll. Yes, they do. No, they don't. And I'm from one of the two places that it is alleged that the California roll might be from. The other one is California. Sorry, I, I, I've only been to Japan four times. Maybe I'm not like, uh, maybe, maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe you've read more menus than me. Nice shot. To be fair, I do be reading them, but I do not be knowing what they say. Semi betwixt, semi betwixtable. Give me a three point two with backspin. Nice. I'll take it. If it's betwixt, I take that. Completely acceptable given the circumstances. I mean, sure, it's not as good as as what you just got. Congrats. I'm happy for you. Genuinely, I don't need to tear other people down to build myself up. Unlike some people. Not even close, not even in the ballpark. Ooh! <laughs> Mario 2. Number four, pancakes with maple syrup. Sure. Number three, Hawaiian pizza. Couldn't agree more. Had some myself last night. Number two, maple syrup. Number one, poutine. Okay, the list actually is like pretty reasonable in the top 10. But 100 to, to 11 was twisted up. But that, I think, honestly, I don't blame the writers that much. Just because like to come up with 100 Canadian foods is tough. And I've lived here for like 33 of my 34 years. Like once they started putting like small batch French Canadian cheeses on the list, I knew it was like... I mean, you had to stretch, don't get me wrong. Craft dinner? Craft dinner, I don't know if it's from Canada, but it is a Canadian staple. As immortalized in the Bare Naked Ladies, if I had a million dollars. If we had a million dollars, we wouldn't have to eat craft dinner, but we still would eat craft dinner. Of course we would, we just eat more. 
We buy all sorts of fancy ketchups, but Dijon ketchup. Listen, there are things in my country um, I, I will evangelize, like for example, um, purple ruffles, all dressed. But like Canadian cuisine, by and large, is not special. You're, you never go to like another country and you're like, whoa, Pog, let's get Canadian tonight. A Canadian might be like, man, I'm really craving poutine. But apart from that, nobody's like, ah, I'm really, <laughs> could really go for some, uh, maybe tortier, I could see, but 